It's my favorite season, springtime, Easter time. Woo! So today I went to the Dollar Tree and I also um, went to a couple other stores, but primarily most of the things that I bought today were Dollar Tree and I'm going to be sharing that with you guys. There were so many cute new Easter and spring items um, that were, they were putting up on the shelves and I was really excited. Um, to pick some of those up so I'm going to be sharing those with you for those of you who don't know me I am Leanne this is my channel living with Leanne my children have finally made me make this channel um, because they got tired of seeing me buy things and giving them my haul if you will they're like mom why don't you just put it on YouTube I'm sure there's other moms out there doing the same thing and when I looked and did some research there was so I am joining um, the other moms that do the same shopping thing that I do and love so much. So I'm gonna get started and just move real quick. First things first, I'm gonna start off, of course, with some of the new springtime items. I did, I know we do have um, St. Patrick's Day coming up and I picked up this one little towel for my kitchen and it is so cute. It's shenanigans with my gnomies. I, really into this gnome theme that's going on lately and everybody is into and i did it i put some gnomes up for easter i'm putting those up now i did some for valentine's day and then i saw this cute little towel so i'm i mean because i'm not irish but i do celebrate everything around here in my house i did pick up that little towel and it's super 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 cute then i also i don't know i had seen these in someone else's channel i cannot remember who um one of the other um, girls that we watch my daughter and i my youngest and we saw these adorable knobs and i looked and looked and looked i want to say for a good solid four weeks for them and i have not been able to find them and finally they appear in my dollar tree so i'm pretty sure that if there is a lot of you out there that maybe um or have a dollar tree like mine these might be showing up there you may have not even seen them so they are so adorable these are the clouds these are the little moon and these are the little stars now there was like an odd uh, terracotta kind of color one the, the best way i can describe it to you is it looks like a for sale you know when the sale signs come up that are like that little like a starburst almost that's what it looked like to me but i really liked how that looked i thought it was really cute if you have like a nursery or if you're doing a room or if you could just actually maybe do like a little diy with these and put them just three-dimensional like on a little like a board um they're so cute and for a dollar i i redid a piece of furniture for our entryway and i purchased the knobs and let me tell you i spent about 25 dollars on just like four knobs so these are a dollar and if you're doing a nursery or anything like that or even just a child a child's room these are perfect and super inexpensive so definitely look out for those if you haven't seen them i know they've been out um but for some reason my dollar tree there my two of my dollar trees actually in my area and i'm in south florida we just got these in so i'm pretty sure there's other areas same thing is going on with them but i know for a fact these next items are brand new how cute are these they're little piggy banks but how adorable i have to show them together so you can see them because i feel like they're friends so this one is a little unicorn and he's so cute with a little gold horn just precious to sit anywhere i mean honestly it could be a piggy bank it could just be sitting on a shelf he's so cute and then this little guy isn't he cute in my other video i was showing you some stuff that um, for my two, my middle daughter and my youngest daughter, they share a room, which they don't want to. And hopefully in a couple of months, we'll be moving into a bigger home for them so they can have their own rooms because they've been sharing by choice because they did have their own rooms. And when my youngest was born, my middle daughter said, I want to share with her. And they've been sharing rooms ever since. So hopefully in the future, they're not going to be sharing a room, but I've been redoing their like decoration in there. And I found some wall decor that had like this same little print and then i found this guy so i'm like this is perfect he'll just sit on a little shelf and he's adorable i don't know if you can see all the colors on there it's like very neutral but super cute and i know a lot of the nurseries too now um a lot of the color schemes are like the grays and the the terracotta color so this would be really cute in a nursery too if you were doing that kind of baby theme now um along those same lines this was something brand new that i saw 
the size is incredible it is for spring um wait till you see the size of this guy look at this pot it is humongous like look i can literally <laughs> i can literally hug it it is huge this is just a dollar i mean how beautiful if you just put some of those semi-annuals or annuals in here they had it in that terracotta color plant uh, plant color and they also had it what looked like a grayish blue color to me maybe like a concrete color um they have those so this is like really 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 nice and i like that it's plastic um being that i'm in south florida we have a lot of thunderstorms and rainstorms and things tend to tip over and break so i'd rather have it plastic than have it terracotta and have it shatter all over on um, my little patio so that was that's a great buy i mean i don't know if you guys have started to get the spring stuff in with the florals but this these are going to fly off the shelves um the last set that i had that was the um the little planters that you kind of stack up and make with your vegetables a little vegetable garden those flew i mean i saw them taking them out of the box i picked them up and they left so out the door this this is gonna fly so if you see these i would definitely pick them up i've never seen this size like i've seen them you know smaller planters at the dollar tree that's definitely a great buy and then here's some more spring items i'm so excited you guys easter is my favorite holiday um i don't know why i've just always loved it and so i kind of go all out in my house um easter bunny easter egg hunts with my kids and i love it i don't care how old they get they're gonna get an easter basket so look at these aren't they cute there was another pattern um it had little stripes on it but we wanted to put these in our front yard and i think they're so cute they do detach so if you wanted to take the little egg off and maybe do a, another decoration with it maybe put it on a sign um mount it on one of the you know some uh, wall art maybe if you're, if you're into that kind of stuff but i thought this was just so cute so cute and it has the glitter i'm typically not a fan of this kind of glitter i love glitter don't get me wrong i love anything sparkly because i feel like it comes off on everything but to be honest this really hasn't gotten all over my house and it's just enough to make it really cute and i love the colors and i think it'll look really cute outside in our little bushes for easter and springtime so those were out and right when i picked them up i picked up this guy he is so cute and he says welcome there was also a little um chicken but I felt like he's so cute and he's neutral. So when, let me just kind of explain to you my house. So we have a three-story setup. We have the our entrance where you come in. And I kind of set up there bright and just happy colors for Easter, for any holiday. And then up in our living room area, which is our second floor, I tend to stay a little neutral um, because our sofa and our dining room table, they're all just like neutral colors. So I tend to go for like the more browns and the wood tones. And this guy is perfect to just set him right there right where we come up into our living room area he's just adorable and for a dollar i mean you can't beat it he's super cute and going along the same lines with the neutrals how adorable are these to put i would think your kitchen i mean you can literally put them anywhere in your home but because they look like cutting boards i think the kitchen is the best spot you can see that fresh carrots cottontail farms so it's a nice size and look it's one wood plank on another so it's not like a piece of paper that they just kind of stuck on there um it's really nice i've seen similar things at michael's and hobby lobby home goods and this is a dollar so we had that one and we had cottontail and company egg farm so adorable both of these really cute for in your kitchen during you can keep it up all of spring or you could just use it for easter um, which by the way is like April 4th, I think this year. My kids keep asking me, why are you buying all this Easter stuff? I'm like, I'm gonna have it up because I just wanna be happy with my Easter um, items and stuff like that. But you can definitely pay anywhere, I would say from anywhere between five, maybe an eight bucks for that easily at Hobby Lobby or, or you know, even Joann's, they also have that line of, of decor too. So adorable. I've been chasing down these little trucks everywhere since I bought the, the little pink truck basket. I wanted to get something that matched and this is adorable. Now I did notice it's honestly just tied on there. You can remove this Happy Easter 
if you wanted to put that on something else and just have the truck with the little bunny in there there is a blue one that also matches that other blue truck too but when i saw that i'm like well that's cool because if i wanted to just remove this guy from the bottom and use this sign for something else i could do that um i tend to take these off if, and not hang things everywhere and then put these signs in different areas of my house and this was really 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 cute with the little truck and to go with the truck <laughs> there's also a pink and blue truck cottontail farms i think dollar tree got the memo that all of us moms are loving to decorate with these little trucks how cute is he with the little eggs in the back and if i'm not mistaken the blue one had little carrots in the back cottontail farms it just all goes together really cute if you wanted to have everything matchy matchy i tend to put one down here i'll put one of these you know upstairs in our living room put some in the girls in the girls bathroom you know just to kind of like keep it all with the, the theme of whatever it is my daughter's best friend came over the other day and she was like i love that you guys decorate for every holiday i think it's just something so small that if you just put a couple of little items and it's such a small detail and it makes everyone happy and puts you in a good place. And I feel that now with everything going on in the world, wherever we can try to find a small space or a small amount of something, anything that will give us that happiness, we need to do it. So here I am doing my shopping and trying to do that. Now this, I have three daughters. So I tend to buy things in three, it's my favorite number and I found them. These little gnomes. I can't. Look how cute they are. So we have him. Happy Easter with his chocolate bunny. I have been looking for him everywhere. I saw them unloading them. I'm like, oh, yay, finally. The other little one with the three eggs and the welcome. And again, they're three dimensional. These are not stickers. These are made like a wood piece on top of a wood piece. Very well made, very well crafted for, for being just a dollar. And then Happy Easter, same thing with little carrot. My idea is to line them up and find, um, Dollar Tree does have these little wooden crates. Put the wooden crates along the bottom and then have these standing on there. How cute are they like that? Ah, they're so adorable. Rather than just having them singled out, um, you guys could also take the string off. You could put a stake in them and put them right in your front yard if you wanted. Um, that's a very, very, very easy DIY. You just get a ruler. You could pick them up at the Dollar Tree and just go ahead and do that. But they are so cute. So, so cute. And to match them, these little friends. Oh, they're so cute. These are actually picked up in the section. Um, my Dollar Tree had them in the section where the um, outdoor area is. So I would assume that these would have been where like candles and that kind of stuff are, but they have them adorable over by the floral area or like the garden inside, if you will. And they had them there and they're so cute. And those are the only three colors that they did have. And just to stay on my little spring line, speckled eggs, because who cannot resist these little guys now i do do a lot of um after um the uh whatever holiday shopping so i do tend to pick up things for like 90 percent off and i do have a lot of speckled eggs that i picked up from target last year for 90 percent off so i paid pennies for them and i want to diy them to do the speckled paint i'm just going to take a paintbrush with some you know paint on there like a brownish blackish paint and just speckle them so they kind of get this same vibe but these were the colorful ones and I think these are really adorable. I love them and for a dollar who, you know, if, I, if you don't want to wait or you have anything in your stockpile from the year before, this is a great way to do that. I thought this was extremely cool because whenever I'm making Easter baskets, I make a mess. And this, oh, so, supposedly, let's see, I haven't used it yet. It's Easter grass and look at, look at that. It comes, you just like take it out and then shred it so there's less of a mess. At first I thought it was that edible grass and um, my kids for some reason think that's really cool. I think it tastes like plastic. However, I will get them some edible Easter grass um, when it's Easter time. But this is to stuff their baskets and not make a ginormous mess. 
in your house. So I think this is really cool. I will let you know how this works out for me, um, if I get it everywhere or not. And then I also picked up, while I was there, along the lines of Easter, these little rounds. Okay, these foam rounds, let me explain something to you. My daughter and I are YouTube fanatics. We love watching YouTube. Um, we love crafting. This is my youngest. And we follow Bargain Bethany. Um, so I got to give her a shout out. And she made the cutest fake sweets um, treats for, for Valentine's Day, which we made a couple of them. I'll try to insert a picture in here if I can. Um, but we also made... Um, she just now released a video, so check her out, Bargain Bethany. And she made a video for um, Easter making cakes using Dollar Tree um, spackle, just so you have that. It's that little white can from Dollar Tree. It's in the home, uh, you know, the gardening um, and hardware section. for, um, And it's just a small little white bottle of spackle. And she made the cutest, look at this the cutest cakes. Now mine, I chose to make this one. My daughter made a lavender a lavender one because purple is her favorite color and I'm wearing her shirt for her. Um, and we did pick up on Amazon some fake um, cherries and it just came out so adorable. But I wanted to make a carrot cake for spring and Easter. So we picked up these two guys and we mixed up the spackle with just a little bit of white. I mean, it's already a nice white color, but if you add a little bit of white paint, the consistency gets better. We use the piping bag and check that out. Now I put sunflower seeds on the top. Um, you could use bird seeds. And these are from the Dollar Tree as well. These little carrots, they come in a pack of, I believe it's six. How adorable is this little carrot cake? I'm gonna have it with all my little decorations. So shout out to Bargain Bethany for that amazing DIY that my daughter and I love. Um, so if you guys can get out and it's a very easy, very easy DIY to do with kids or if you have any grandkids or nieces and nephews that come over to your house. Um, I would even, I, I was a former school teacher, so I would even have done that with some of my students um, for them to take home and it's just a forever keepsake. So that's super adorable. I also found, now I've seen some of the light bulbs. I, what are these things called? I think they're called, what is it? A, it says it's a cloche. Did I say that right? Someone correct me. To me, it's a dome. But you can put in here if you have any like little succulents or anything like that. What came to mind for me, because I am a Disney fanatic, is a rose. Like for Beauty and the Beast. Like if you're having a birthday party or if your child's room is decorated Disney theme or if you just love Disney in general. How cute would it be to just like hot glue or suspend a off of a little fishing wire a little rose in here so it looks like beauty and the beast's rose i thought it was adorable we are actually going to just put um some um some little plants in here that my daughter has and a little you know just some really cute little plants but i thought that would be so cute for a beauty and the beast theme just to get you guys as creative side going um look for these i've seen some that are in the shape of like a little light bulb haven't found those would pick it up probably because i think they're just so cute and it's just something that you can just add in your house to make it look really cute i'm going to have one more thing out here and then i'm going to be done with kind of this section if you will now Dollar Tree are selling these movable little solar lights. They're steak lights. I have only ever seen those ones look like little umbrellas. And I saw these and I was like, these are perfect to just put. I'm going to see how they work, to be honest with you, because I've never put any of these solar lights out front. Um, my, see, my neighbors have a couple. I'm going to try these out. But I did like that these adjust. I don't know if this is something that Dollar Tree has carried before. Maybe I just was never looking for them. And now that I'm doing a lot of like these DIY projects and we're at home a lot um, due to COVID, I'm tending to see things that I never saw before. So I did pick up these. And I think they would make a great addition to anyone's lawn for just a dollar. Now I'm going to move into something I found. My husband and I are celebrating our wedding anniversary on Tuesday, which happens to also be our middle daughter's 16th birthday. So we tend not to really celebrate a lot because she uh, steals the show with her birthday. So we celebrate either the day before, the day after. It is what it is. I mean, that's what happens when you have kids. So I did find some stuff at the Dollar Tree for him that's some licensed products, and I was really excited. So 
check this out for those of you that have heat fans i found this cute little pillow my husband is working from home i'm sure many um of your husbands are too um or significant others and his back is killing him and i feel terrible but i work from home i've always worked from home um for the past like nine years and so i sit at our dining room table i sit on hard surfaces all the time working from home wherever i can get a spot i sit. he's not used to it he's used to his fancy chair from work and he doesn't have that here at home so anytime i find a cute pillow that he could put on his back to help him out i do and i thought this was great because it has these is that sewn on there yeah they're actually it's embroidered i didn't even notice that it is embroidered and it has nba and it has the basketballs and the miami heat it is a licensed product so i'm not quite sure where this came from but it is nbastore.com and it is a miami heat pillow i don't know if it's maybe regional so we got miami heat and perhaps maybe other areas would have you know orlando orlando magic i don't even know i don't keep up with names and stuff like that because i know a lot of the nfl teams have changed their names so i know miami heat is still miami heat but up north i don't know if maybe you would have different pillows from that area or if they would just all be miami heat um but these are licensed products so i'm not quite sure how much this would have gone for but i can guarantee you it would not have gone for a dollar so i picked this up for him as one of his little gifts for our anniversary and for those of you that have husbands right now with what i call covid beard um quarantine beard um this next line of products that i'm going to show you is incredible my husband just vies by this stuff like he will literally tell anyone like this is the best stuff ever I, I don't care it's from the dollar tree and i'm not quite certain it says it's made by um power stick however i don't know if that's a dollar tree brand because usually that it's green briar y'all tell me i have no idea but this beard wash i don't know if you can see that this beard wash makes his beard nice and moisturized super soft um and like i said quarantine beard that's what i like to call it because he can't get out to go get his hair cut like he usually did weekly i have actually um looked online and started cutting his hair which is extremely hard for me but i can do it so now i'm fading hair so i'm just adding something else to my resume of things to do and that's all because we have been home so it has a face wash, which I've never seen the face wash. I've always seen the beard wash and the aftershave. And there is one more, which I don't have with me because he already took it and ran. And that is beard balm. And he had a little bit of stubble from when I gave him, um, like just like cut down on his beard um, and cleaned it up. And he put that beard balm on it. And I tell you, he says that it completely made him feel so much better. It, it, I don't know what's in this stuff. I mean, there's a lot of things I can't pronounce proper uh, properly, but um, let me tell you, it works. It has a lot of sweet almond oil, which I think that's what's doing the trick on here. And it has, let's see, I think that's the best product I see in here. Water, of course, sodium. Um, let's see, I think, oh, jojoba oil. So yeah, there's a lot of oils in here, but this beard wash, I'm gonna have him try this one because I don't think he's tried that one. And there is a, a beard balm. Definitely pick this up if you have a man in your life that has a beard or a recent beard due to the lovely activities of having to be home. Um, I did get these and I haven't seen these rub on transfers. Now I have seen the rub on transfers obviously, but this particular style right here is so cute. I picked this up for my youngest. She likes um journaling right now. She's really into that. Um she's 11, so but I thought this was so cute. I mean, look at that. It says feeling good attitude. She just cut it out and put it wherever she wants. Spot style, fashion. My kids all have um because we're in South Florida, we they've all modeled, they've all done commercials and things like that. And they love doing that. So my youngest is the fashionista. That's what we call her. So this I thought was so cute for her to journal. Adorable. And they're rub on, so you can see all the different ways that you can use it. You can make signs, you can put it on like um, little crates. So cute for a dollar. I haven't seen this print. I have seen the rub on letters. Um, so this will probably be something really cute. You could probably like mix and match with that as well. 
and then I got a couple more items you guys and then I am done like my mom likes to tell me did you leave anything in the store I'm like I don't think I bought a lot I mean I spent you know twenty dollars twenty four dollars on average whenever I go to the Dollar Tree but when you think about it you know I'm picking up things that we use daily here like the facial washes and things like that and then a lot of the stuff I do gift so if you know I, I my sister I always tend to give her some of the stuff that I buy whenever it's a lot of the beauty items I have three daughters they tend to use a lot of beauty items um and they're just such cute little things who can pass them up these are just everyday things that we use and it's just a way for me to show everyone things that are out there that they can buy and they can save money on now I have seen these I haven't been able to find them and today there they were these awesome makeup vanishing towels now i will tell you i have purchased the name brand of this towel at um at our wholesaler or you know um costco that we have in our area i did buy the name brand when it came in a two pack we paid 19.99 for a two pack so this is a dollar i'm not quite sure of the size i think it's a, it's a little smaller now this has no soap needed meaning you don't have to put soap on the actual products you still have to wet it but it, it is it takes off your makeup without having to use any harsh chemicals or anything like that so or any soap and it it does it literally melts your makeup off so i'm gonna see how this works um versus the name brand um one which like i said i paid $19.99 for a two pack and that was at a wholesaler so you would think we saved a couple of bucks there because it was a, a wholesale uh, company or like you know a club if you will so hopefully this one works and it's saving me a lot of money by buying that since we're on beauty items over here that I have how cute are these coconut infused q-tips now obviously these are not for your ear. So I want to specify that these are not for your ear. And it says it on here. Do not put in, you know, use for earwax and do not put in your ear. These are for strictly makeup and beauty. So if you apply, you know, eyeshadow or if you want to put like, you know, some lip gloss. Um, if you want to maybe, you know, use this for um, cleaning out under, under your eye once you do your eye makeup. But I love that they're infused. Now they did have three, I think it was three other um, scents. I believe there was um, like a strawberry. There was, oh my goodness gracious, I can't remember now. I want to say it was like a, oof, my, my daughter would remember. But we picked the coconut because that was a unanimous vote for coconut. So it is infused. It smells like coconut. And I think these are great. But again, not for your ears definitely just for beauty so if you have teens and they they're going through stuff these are better for them to use and i just love the fact that they have a scent i haven't seen this if any one of you can tell me if you've ever seen this it is personal care super smooth shave shaving cream compared to the eos shave cream now i purchased the eos shaving cream and this is a dollar i would much rather pay a dollar than pay six dollars you know around that area for just because it's the eos brand now, i do love the eos lip balms those are great but i wanted to see how this you know fared out for my daughter and i picked out this scent i was gonna say flavor i am so terrible with that pomegranate and raspberry so we'll see how that comes out it says this product is not tested on animals which is a great thing let's see Oh, it smells really good it smells compatible to the eos and this was just a dollar it is a nice size seven ounces and i've never seen this at dollar tree i've usually seen the smaller ones um that the can is literally the size of maybe about like five inches in height this is a lot bigger and i said well and i've never heard of this brand um, either so we'll let you know I like that it wasn't tested on any animals it's also paraben free so we're, this is going to work great for us and I did pick these up before and I picked up another pack those moms out there with teens or even some of us moms because I I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest I am turning 42 this year and 
every once in a while I still get a stress pimple I don't know when this is gonna end I tell my husband all the time I'm like why am I getting a pimple like I thought I was over that already but these things on TikTok if any of you are on there you should be if you're not it's I love that app with my kids but there is a girl who actually shared a TikTok using band-aids specific band-aid a brand I can't remember exactly off the top of my head um and she was putting them on her you know when you wake up in the morning and oh my goodness I have a stress mark or I call them that you know a stress pimple she was putting it on there it was sucking out the oil so I guess they got hip to the game and came out with these little blemish patches they come 24 so you guys can see them there and you put them right wherever you have a little pimple or blemish and it draws out the oil i purchased these to see if it worked as good as the band-aids because we did buy the band-aids because of course we had to try anything that was on tiktok because i have teens and that's what happens but this particular brand it, it's crazy because my daughter i said try it see if it works she she had a little stress pimple she was having an exam she put it on the, you know overnight when she took it off the next morning you could literally see the oil that was sucked out um and the bump was flat so pick these up if you have teens and if you're not a teen and you have more <laughs> if you get some stress like me pick these up blemish patches these are at the dollar tree it's actually made by the dollar tree brand um so you should have them in your stores it won't be kind of like you're going around crazy looking for them they are in the self-care section where they have all the face masks and the shaving things and stuff of that nature so pick these up definitely and a couple of last things how cute is this real techniques okay real techniques they sell this brand in most of the drugstores this is to make your favorite um if you have like it's an air cushion sponge so you can make a cushion compact so you literally you use that with your whatever compact you have and it makes it so smooth you use it dry you don't apply anything with it so it's like this expert air cushion sponge is designed for airbrushed coverage okay so you use it dry and all you do one to three months you toss it and you're done it is so cute i think this is really nice it's got a nice sponge at the end and it makes your makeup look airbrushed. So we're gonna try it out. I love beauty products. I love buying them for a dollar. I love them even more. Um, when you tend to go to these other stores like Ulta and Sephora, which I adore and I love their products, it can get it can get pricey. I mean, you can walk out of there sometimes at close to a hundred dollars, and you bought you're looking at your bag like what's in here. So for a dollar, if you want to just try something out, this is a great deal. Now the last thing I'm gonna show you, if you guys like wearing fake lashes, I do not, but my teens do. They, anytime there's a special occasion, they are wearing them. When you get into the mink lashes, when you get into the higher end lashes, you can spend anywhere in upwards from 20 to $30 on a pair of lashes. Absolutely insane. And as a clueless mom who does not wear lashes like that, I have purchased them for my kids because they're like, mom, I want lashes. So of course you go to the store and they're gonna show you the most expensive lashes that they have. And I dropped $20 on a pair of lashes, which they wore a couple of times and then they were out the door. Yeah, it's not happening. So I love these. I found them up on a whim at one Dollar Tree. There are different colors. There's like a green one. There's like a darker green one. Um, and they have the Demi, uh, Demi Wispy, Wispy Natural, you name it. And then they have like the really, really glamorous. Like there's one right above this one. That's to me, I call them little caterpillars on your eyes. These are a dollar. They are mink, handmade lashes. You can trim, of course, the ends if you wanted to. If your eye is not as long as it is, like you do regularly. They do sell the... Um, glue for them um as well apparently according to here they have a tiktok an instagram a facebook and a twitter so it's it's i guess it's ioni yeah ioni ioni if i'm saying it wrong oof please i'm so sorry but these are great and they are mink and they are handmade these are a little more natural right there great 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 find for a dollar so if you can get your hands on those I definitely would even if you don't use lashes all the time but maybe you have a special occasion of wedding coming up or something you just want to you know 
make yourself feel glamorous definitely pick those up because let me tell you twenty dollars for a pair of lashes good grief they have they would have had to jump on my eyes and glued themselves on there themselves because for twenty dollars good grief but other than that this was my haul for today um or for the weekend i should say and i will thank you so much for watching me all through the entire 34 minutes if you fast forwarded that's good i get it if you didn't and you watched me all the way through thank you so much um comment below like follow subscribe all that good stuff my name is leanne this is living with leanne and thank you so much for joining me and watching my channel bye